Uh, good evening, this is our uh, BC454B receiver. I've st uh, started it out at 3 megahertz. We're going to tune on up the band and see what we can hear. It is approximately quarter to 11 p.m. in Moscow, Idaho, which is about 541 uh, or so, 542 Greenwich Mean Time on um, Saturday the uh, 1st of June. So here we go. Uh, I've got it set on AM and connected to my amateur radio antenna which is a 55 foot tall vertical being fed with 50 ohm coax. So now we'll see what we can hear. Uh, the band is very noisy. Uh, conditions the last few uh, weeks have been very bad but we should be able to get something here. Okay, here we go. Now you can hear the lightning. Open your blinded eye. The long they see. As I get to the radio room, my line went back again to uh, the uh, 26, 27, and the 28 chapter. Of the book of Acts. The Acts. Yeah, that was one of those religious broadcasters. I have no idea what this is. Broadcast station approximately 3.2 some megahertz. More noise. I have no idea what that is. Anyway. Here is a Spanish speaking broadcast station. Now, beginning at 3.5 megahertz, you'll find an amateur radio band. And uh, a few minutes ago, I was listening to, to this receiver. And right about here, I heard a station from Africa. Uh, coming in on uh, a Morse code. Starting at about 3.6 megahertz, we're going to run into some, or could run into some Canadian single sideband stations. There's one we're going to kill. Good to be true. Nothing wrong with it, nothing wrong with it. And that's, uh, you got that, and the 10 trunk, that's Maritron uh, 1500 watt tuner. So, I've had both of these things, God, uh, 30 years, probably. This is a single sideband station on a 75 meter handband. There's another station in there very quiet in the background. And I don't know, they're talking about an amplifier of some sort, a Dentron amplifier. Let's go a little higher. Walking around, and it was funny because they got the big group there, and it just looked like a gag of like geese or something going on. As you can see, this receiver does very, very well demodulating single side stations. This guy is just chatting, you know. Very, very bad for you. Uh, fast food out of the question there. So uh, you did mention a couple of other 
It does very, very well on sideband. I'm quite pleased with it. Quite a lot of stations on tonight. It's quite late. This is an AM station of some sort. Probably the carrier is in there. Now by the flutter on that signal, that would indicate that it's quite a long way away, somewhere probably in the eastern United States or eastern Canada. This is uh, off outside the handband. Handband here ends at 4 megahertz. And uh, this is some sort of teletype signal. A shortwave broadcast station of some sort. More noise. Another shortwave broadcast station. You can also find these by turning the BFO on and turning for the carrier. That way you can tell there's an AM station there. Now, I forget where I found this uh, air traffic controller, but I believe it was around 5.5 megahertz, so we'll keep tuning until we see if we run across her. Turn the BFO on and see what we get. Not much. That's a facsimile station, I believe. Now, is able to tell the difference between things like I'm waving my hand or I'm grasping at something, so you can use different kinds of... That's teletype, probably, um, it could be something like, like press, you know, wireless or something. Anyway. And then here we'll find WWV in Fort Collins, Colorado. Uh, sometimes we get Hawaii. If it's a female voice, it's Hawaii. If it's a male voice, it's uh, Colorado. So we'll see what this sounds like. See if it says anything. It should say something about, well, I don't know, a minute or so here. Oh, it's about 30 or 40 seconds. At the tone, yeah. five hours. 51 minutes, coordinated universal time. Here's your time, okay? Pacific weather, this is Jerry, Sunday, in our area from 30 north to 4. Now, this is uh, weather in the Pacific Ocean being broadcast on the same station. The Spanish shortwave broadcast station. More soy stations. Teletype. 
Now, as I remember it, there was a station right in here. That was the San Francisco station. That was uh, the um, air traffic controller. But they don't speak very often, and when you, you kind of have to be lucky to catch them. But when you do, they're very strong in there. Get a little higher, turn the BF on, and see if you can hear the carriers. Maybe some more noise. No. No short wave broadcast station, I have no idea what it is. Facsimile like for Another short wave broadcaster. Tuning the antenna makes a big difference too. very, very well indeed. Well, that's enough for now, and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.